Josh Green here, seconds out with Savannah Marshall in the bubble once again. Um, is it fair to say you're one of the most unlucky fighters in the bubble? Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with Covid. This is my third world title fight that got pulled due to Covid within a year. So I'm having a nightmare with them. I was there in Peter when the Hannah Rankin fight was per first oh, yeah. and I know it was a, a devastating blow for you but the fact that it did go ahead eventually and the fact that yes. you got there, did that make it even sweeter? Yeah, it definitely had a silver lining. I uh, got put on the Usyk Jazara bill, pay-per-view event, mm -hmm. and I got the win. So it all worked out in the end, didn't it? In many ways do you think that was even better, that you got the fact to chance, the chance to show your, your skills on a pay-per-view bill? Possibly a bigger show than, than you would have yeah. previous. Yeah, when you look at it that way, at the time it wasn't. Mm. At the time I was devastated, but like I said, it was a bigger bill, bigger occasion. Got the win. And you've come here this week, obviously, unfortunately the Herman's fight won't be going ahead. Mm. But we do have a, an opponent for you this week in Maria Lindbergh. How much do you know about her and do you think it's going to be as, as much of a challenge as it would have been against Herman's? Yeah, definitely. She, she's very experienced. She's been in the game a long time. She's been in with some of the best at the higher divisions. So, um, <laughs> definitely, uh, it's definitely still a tough, tough fight. Just, just different factors. And you look at her record. It's a record with plenty of wins. I know there's six defeats on there, but. She's got an awful lot of experience. She's already fought for world titles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's That's going to be coming here looking for the win, isn't she? That's what I mean. She's um, and for the fact that she took it on this much notice for me. That's telling me, you know, she 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 keeps herself in shape. She's fit. She's obviously close to weight. So she, like I said, I said previous, she's never gonna probably never gonna get this a chance at a world title again, is she? So. She's definitely coming to, to where we go. Do you think this is a, a bit of a last roll of the dice for her? With, as you say, it could be her last chance in a world title. Do you think she's got to put it all out there? I think she will, yeah. 100%. 100%. Mm. With her experience as well, she's going to come and do everything possible to try and get the belt, isn't she? Do you think that maybe makes her even more dangerous than your previous opponent? Because she comes here you don't know a whole lot about her, granted, and she comes here with the, the heart to go out and, and win that. Maybe, maybe, um, but look, I, tra I train, I've just done a 12 week camp, I only found out I was fighting for me four, four weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, so I've trained, I've trained, I've trained for every scenario really. And just talking about that camp, what have you gone through with Peter over the last few weeks and months that you think has improved your, your style over the last months? Hell. <laughs> Pure hell. Um, now I'm, 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 I've got the experience of being a world champion now. Mm. So obviously it's all a little, little one percent to take, obviously the occasion. Um, obviously defeating someone like Hannah. Um, the fighter that she was. So yeah, just all them little one percent, and hopefully them one percent have, have, have made me that little bit of a better fighter. Everybody that trains with Peter says the same as you said. It, it's hell, but it gets you where you want to be. Just talk to us what he's like to, to be around on a daily basis. Pete, Pete, do you know what? Peter's actually like away from the box, and he's a lovely man. He really is a lovely man, and he knows boxing. He gets you super fit, um, so that 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 never be an issue, not being fit enough. And like I said, he, he leaves no stone unturned. So really, I'm prepared for every scenario. And this is obviously you know, it's a big occasion this week. But where do you think you want to be in three or four months' time? What do you think is next on the bill for Savannah Marshall? Um, I'd like to get out in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, Again, I only boxed once last year, so I'd like to have at least two or three this year. So obviously I have this, have a couple of weeks off and then back into camp and see what's, what's available for me. Yeah. And we can't do a, a chat with you without talking about Clarissa Shields. I know you spoke about her in there previously, but that is a, a super fight for the women's division. Mm. 
not just at the weight and women's boxing as a whole. How much do you want that to go ahead and how much do you think she wants that to go ahead? I, I'd love for that fight to go ahead. That's, that's the biggest fight out there for me. And um, not denying it. So it's, it's whether she wants it or not, isn't it? Um, and I believe because of the size of the magnitude, the, the magnitude of what that fight can be, I do believe I do believe that'll happen. Putting any time range on that, when do we think we might see you two in the ring together? Um, this year. Sure. It has to happen this year, doesn't it? Well, I certainly hope so. Yeah. Uh, best of luck this week. Yeah. And we'll Thank see you, you very soon. much. Cheers.